हेलो 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 हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो सी बाय टू चॉकलेट्स एंड वी विल सी फ्रॉम वेरी स्क्रैच टू द इंटायर इंटरेशन एज एंड हाउ यू विल गो अबाउट इन एन इंटरव्यू ऑल दो इजी प्रॉब्लम बट स्टिल जस्ट टू शो यू दैट हाउ इन एन इंटरव्यू यू शुड गो अबाउट टू अ प्रॉब्लम डिस्कसिंग ऑल द अप्रोचेज विल डिस्कस इट हैज फाइव सिक्स अप्रोचेज बट विल डिस्कस फोर ऑफ देम एंड देन वी विल एक्चुअली सी हाउ कैन बी डन लेट्स यू कैन सी दैट फॉर द प्रॉब्लम सेज प्रॉब्लम सेज जस्ट दैट वी हैव टू बाई टू चॉकलेट्स नाउ इट्स जस्ट दैट वी आर गिवेन एन टीचर ऑफ एन आर ए कॉलेज प्राइजेस रिप्रेजेंटिंग द प्राइज ऑफ फेरियस चॉकलेट्स सो फॉर चॉकलेट्स आई हैव प्राइजेस नाउ यू आर ऑल्सो गिवेन अ सिंगल इंटीजर कॉलेज मनी नाउ विच रिप्रेजेंट्स द इनिशियल अमाउंट ऑफ मनी यू हैव यू मस्ट बाय एक्जैक्टली टू Two chocolates. So the amount of chocolates which you can buy is exactly two. In such a way that you still have some non-negative leftover money. So as in, if you buy some, if you buy two chocolates, let's let's say the value is x plus y. So x plus y, and if I just will buy them, so money minus x plus y should be greater than equal to zero. That is what it is saying. That I should be getting at least some. non zero value it should not be that okay it becomes negative which means i cannot spend anything more than this money it should be more than equal to zero okay great now you would like to minimize you would like to minimize the sum of the prices of two chocolates that you buy and what i wanted is just to minimize this value of two chocolates which i want to buy now to return the amount of money you will have left over after buying the two chocolates so as it is said that i will try to minimize the sum of the price of of these two chocolates and also ultimately i will have to let me know the left over after buying the two after buying the two chocolates which means left over is money minus the sum which i bought so this is the amount which will be the left over amount which i want to return to him okay great now ultimately if there is no way to buy you two chocolates without ending up in a debt return the money itself which means if this value becomes negative if this becomes negative then return the money itself which means there is no way possible so return the money value itself now ultimately why by reading the problem statement itself although in your mind you must have already thought that you have to minimize the sum of the prices of the two chocolates you buy so if i want ultimately if i want x plus y to be minimum minimum so i will try x to be minimum and y to be minimum as minimum as possible only then the sum will be minimum so one thing in the back of our head while reading or while interviewer is, interviewer is explaining the problem itself we have got to know that we will Take x and y both as minimum, but still, it is an interview. You have to go from very scratch. So what you will tell him is, sir, firstly, the first basic method which comes in my mind is that as I want two values x and y, right? So I will try for all pairs of x and y in my entire array of prices. So I'll just try one three. Okay, one three is four, which is more than money. So I'll not like I'll just neglect that. I'll try to find x y pair in the entire array. Which means two values or two chocolates. I will try to buy. I'll try one four. I'll try one two. I'll try three four. I'll try three three two. I'll try four two. And then ultimately, like you will see, you will also keep maintaining the minimum pair which you have, and you will see that the minimum pair is one two. So after going on through all the pairs, I figured out that ultimately I have this one pair one two whose sum is three, and three minus three three is the money which you have. Minus one plus two, it is more than equal to zero, and it is the minimum pair which we could get. And for sure, with that fact, my answer is zero, which I will return. And you can also see that he returned a zero value. Okay, that was great. Ah, uh, but ultimately. remember you have known but stay you discuss with the interviewer that okay it is a basic and very fast it's a basic brute force approach now as soon as you know one thing that for sure greedy will be applied here we will take two minimum values x and y so obvious thing is obvious thing which you have already known now you will come on to it but the fact is how you will implement it now again don't go straight into the best approach to get the two minimum values just say so first obvious thing is we want the two smallest value right from an array if you if i ask you give me n smallest value of an array what you do you simply sort it so what i will do is simple basic implementation i will sort the array of prices now with the sorting of array of prices i will get this as a sorted array and i can grab two starting values and with this i will check if this if the sum is less than equal to my money then for sure return money minus the sum of the values 
if it is more than simply return the money now that is the basic implementation which we think of if we want to grab the some sorted values and ultimately the time will be o of n login because we are doing sorting and space will be o of login for java and c++ for python it is o of n okay cool now basic implementation is done still in the back of our mind we all know that we just want to grab two minimum values and we also know ultimately in the back of our head that there is some way to grab two minimum values without even doing sorting or such big things right so now my ultimate aim is to grab two minimum elements right so simple do one thing first minimum element and second minimum element so grab the first minimum element now first for, for, for to grab the first minimum which means the most minimum value you have to grab right so what you can do is one basic stuff which comes in our head is we have the array of prices what we'll do is i'll firstly grab the minimum value okay i'll just start off with assigning my one to the my my one i'll just start with assigning one to the first minimum value and i'll just keep on comparing with three four and two and i will get ultimately by iterating i'll get the first minimum value which is the most minimum value and then i have the first minimum value then i will iterate again on this entire array here i can just maintain the index also or any way uh, if you want uh, if you see that you have duplicate values so you can maintain the index okay i grab a value whose in, whose value is uh, more than this value whose value because it is a first minimum which is a, it is a most minimum value now i want to grab the second minimum value so to grab the second minimum value i can either grab the index of this specific uh, this is specific element which is the most minimum element which is the first minimum element and then I'll just keep on comparing anything which is most minimum but 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 not this value it is my second minimum value and with this I in two passes in first pass I grab the first minimum value in the second pass I grab the second minimum value and with that I got my answer again time has reduced to O of n but ultimately it is two passes so it is n into two space is O of n O of one itself nothing much space as we have used but remember time is O of n to two which is you are doing two passes to grab the two minimum values now the interview will ask you man can you please optimize this also as in can you do this in one pass now 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 comes the trick of how you can do this in one pass one thing for sure that you have the array of prices you want to get two minimum values and you know for sure two minimum values two, at least two values will be there so what i will do is one very basic thing i'll assign I, I i can just imagine okay just have a blindfold and just imagine that you have only two values in the beginning assign the most minimum value to the first minimum so the two will be assigned to the first minimum and second minimum value to the second minimum so i can do first minimum is minimum of minimum of my two and four and second minimum is maximum of two and four so with this out of these two values the most minimum is assigned to first minimum and the other value is assigned to second minimum right okay now 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 comes the interesting part that i have to go and update in the single pass only in the single pass i have to update both first minimum and second minimum just see what could be the cases one obvious case is the next element and this is my index i'll encounter this element the next element which i encounter it is even more than the second minimum value let's imagine if the next element let's say here would have been eight so next element which I encounter is more than the second minimum and again we will always keep on maintaining that first minimum is always less than the second minimum because we want minimum value and the maximum value. So what if this i again i'm just figuring out the cases what could be the case they can be just three cases either this value either this value which is the i index value it is more than the second minimum value itself because you know first minimum is four second minimum is Sorry, first minimum is two, second minimum is four. So you can imagine that the value, which I, I think is value, it is more than the second minimum. So for sure, no one will be updated. We will simply go on. Now, as we go on, let's say we encountered a value which is in between, we encountered a value which is in between of first minimum and second minimum. Then ultimately, you know that first minimum will not be updated. Only the second minimum will be updated. So four rather than, rather than being four, I know that the second minimum will be updated to three. Only again, only as it is between, only the second minimum, which is the higher value will be updated. So now what has become first minimum is two, second minimum is three. Now, if I ask you, okay, it goes on ahead, next value, because I know I can do only single pass. Now the value which I encountered is less than even the first minimum. 
which is here so for sure these both should be updated first minimum first minimum will come here and second minimum will come here so i'll do the same stuff i'll bring my second minimum to first minimum and first minimum to the current value which is the prices of i and with this i will keep on maintaining my first minimum and second minimum which is the two minimum values and with this you can get your first minimum and second minimum in just one pass which is time is o of n again it is not n into two it's just o of n and space is o of one so that is how you can get the first and the second minimum again they are only three cases when if you have just two values first and second your current ith index value it is more than the second minimum it is less than the second minimum but more than the first minimum it is even less than the first minimum itself so these three are the only cases let's quickly quote this quote this up so our ultimate aim so you will see that our ultimate aim is just to grab the first minimum and second minimum so i know that my first minimum will be nothing but minimum of uh, prices of i like prices of zero because i know i have because you can see i have at least two values so I can easily grab uh, my first minimum and second minimum and my second minimum is nothing but maximum min, uh, minimum is nothing but maximum of uh, prices of uh, zero and prices of one. Now, when this portion is done, uh, I have grabbed the first and second minimum. I should now go on to all of my indexes as I showed you. I is less than uh, my prices dot size and then i plus plus now in this i will have to just make sure that uh, i should check okay if the current prices of i value if it is less than my actual first minimum value then uh, bro uh, you have to update your both first and second minimum so i'll just say that my second minimum is firstly has become first minimum and my first minimum is nothing but the prices of i prices of i so with this i have got my both the values done but what if it is in between if it is in between which means if price of i is less than my second minimum value bro 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 simply just have a check that just just simply update your second minimum second minimum will become your prices of i itself now ultimately else will be okay it is more if it is more then update no one now ultimately i can just check that if uh, my uh, money money minus this uh, first minimum plus second minimum if it is more than equal to zero then for sure i can just return this value which is this value right here i can simply return this value because that is what i wanted else ultimately if not which means i have to return the money itself and uh, with this we were able we will be able to get in one pass itself cool i hope you got it bye bye